In this video, we will see different types of enterprise software systems. So here, let us see the agenda. So first, we will discuss decentralized systems and the demerits of decentralized system. Then we will see centralized system with the benefits of centralized system itself. So in the previous video, we saw a typical process model that was being followed. So there, the data was maintained locally at individual department. Moreover, the data the, they didn't have any access to the data that is different department didn't have any access to other departments data. So what it does did it created some problem. So numerous disparate information systems were developed at individual de department. Moreover, integrating the data was become becoming more time consuming and more money consuming. If in a particular department say sales department some data was maintained similarly in inventory department some data was maintained. So two databases has to be maintained. So what it did? So it created more time and more money consuming. Moreover, there was th this duplication of data. So the same data was maintained in one database. Similarly, other data was maintained in other database. So same data was being maintained. And moreover, there was lack of timely information. Information leads to the customer, which what it did? The customer was dissatisfied. Moreover, the, there was loss of revenue. So then came centralized system. Centralized system, the data is maintained at central location and is shared with various departments. So departments have access to information of other departments data. So now let us see this example. So when now the customer comes for a product to buy from the sales department. So sales department has the real time information that is what inventory has already been updated. So what it did, the revenue was increased, moreover the customer was happy again. So similarly, shop floor execution already updated, how many resources it needed. So what it did, the HR department handled that and label, labor cost was decreased. So let us see the benefits of centralized systems. So there was this benefit that it eliminates the duplication discontinuity and redundancy in the data. So no more two other two or more databases had to be maintained. There was only need for one database to be maintained. And moreover, the, it provides information across all the departments in a real time system. It, uh, it also increased the productivity, it increased the better inventory management, promoted quality of the product that were being made, reduced material cost and effective human resource management was done. And moreover, at the last, there was better customer interaction and increased throughput. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see the introduction of SAP.